Welcome to the wonderful world of Waikato Shares. Hey Chase, how's it going? Awesome, we're here today and we're going to find out how steel is made. New Zealand Steel is a company based around groundbreaking innovation and is a leader in the steel industry, creating a path for future generations. Through the innovation of Sir Wolf Fisher and team, New Zealand Steel were first in the world to create steel from sand for both domestic and international customers. We endlessly talk about how awesome New Zealand steel is, colour steel. So today we're going to get an inside look at the steel plant. So follow us on our tour. Hopefully the paint mine as well. That's something I'm keen to see. But yeah, have a look and uh, we'll see you guys soon. That's it. I want to see how iron gets poured. Hot I want to see this big pump. It's going to be awesome. All right, follow along. So basically we are a 160 hectare industrial site set on a 400 hectare farm. So we're probably the only steel mill in the world that employs a farmer. We basically run a few beefies and we run a few sheep. So basically this plant on the left hand side here is taking the iron sand which is coming off the beach in a concentrated form. It's mixed up with coal. It's brought into these what they call multi-half furnaces which are on the left here. Unreduced still oxide form is put into the top of a reducing kiln. It's fed through the kiln. The kiln's on a slight uh, downhill where it's rotated around. About six hours later it comes out the other. It is it reduced to uh, iron. It's still not liquid. I need this on my desk. And the hot metal is put into a big ladle and transported across to the steel plant where it's converted into steel. We create a fair bit of uh, carbon monoxide. Um, which we burn off create steam and we have a co-energy plant that produces 60% of our electricity. Now the site uses the equivalent of Wellington City in a 24 hour period in regards to electricity. Sweet, so we're just in the cool tricky tour around, got to see some furnaces, slabs and that getting done. Going to roll on to where the colour steel gets made so We'll see what we can get taken photos of and we'll see what footage we've got on there but it's been pretty cool so far, pretty intense those water fountains so far. So let's come on side and see where all our sweet colour steel comes from. The pipeline idea was, was um, brought up as a way of transporting the material from, um, Glen, uh, from Waikato to Glenbrook here, a distance of 18 k's. They looked at um, rail, they looked at um, using a gondola type system, all those sort of things. Um, truck and trailers initially were found to be very intrusive as regards to the locals are concerned. There's truck and trailers going all night. So they came up with this idea of creating a slurry and pumping it 18 kilometres here. So here's a piece of the pipe they took out after 25 years of use. And as you can see, there's very, very little wear on the inside. They were most surprised about that. Um, and certainly it's been a great innovation for us in regards to transporting all that to iron sand. So 320 tonnes per hour is delivered through this pipeline and basically it takes 90 minutes for it to travel from Waikato North Head to Glenbrook. Chronix living his 80s dream, we're looking like Michael Jackson, ready to tour the plant. So let's go. <laughs> All of those there, huge slabs they're making in the slab making plant, that's what they're going to roll into all our portal frames and colour steel. So it'll be cool to go and see what they do there. But check out the size and the scope of it. These steel slabs become the raw material for the hot rolling mill. Like pastry under a rolling pin, the hot slab passes through the reversing roughing mill back and forth five or seven times until it's about 25 millimetres thick. To retain the heat, the transfer bar is coiled in the coil box before being fed into the finishing mill. In one straight through pass, it's reduced in thickness again, down to as little as two millimeters. It depends on the customer. About 40% of hot rolled material gets dispatched to customers in this form. In a 40-hour cycle of heating and controlled cooling, the coil is processed in the nitrogen-hydrogen atmosphere of the Uniflow annealing oven. After annealing and temper rolling to improve the surface quality, coils are slit or sheared to customer order. On the metal coating line, it's given a protective zinc or zincalume coating. 
Some will go for sheet metal fabrication or other galvanised products. And some go to the paint line to produce the colour steel range. The tough primers and top coats are separately baked on to both sides for a long-lasting, low-maintenance finish. I am debrief of the tour, Sean, thoughts? It was a pretty awesome tour. If you guys ever get the chance to come down here and do the same as what we've just done, highly recommend. There's a lot going on in that factory behind us. Huge, it's pretty much a maze. You wouldn't want to send me on my own in there. I'd probably get lost and yeah, get oh, yeah. distracted. But um, yeah, my favorite part was definitely at the end. We saw all the colors going through the cladding, getting painted, and obviously so that's what it's sniffing all the paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying not to, you know, too long in there. You definitely get a bit of a headache, feeling a little bit loopy. But um, that's my favorite part because all our sheds are nice, beautiful colors. So yeah, it was cool to see that part. What about you? My favorite fact to find out was all of this steel is made of from the Waikato. Yeah. So Mount Taranaki erupted two million years ago and that spread all of the iron sand pretty much up the coast and yeah. that's what they're using to turn it all into it. So all, all the way up to Muriwa yeah. though, Kane? Yeah, that's it. New Zealand made, made of the Waikato. So that was very cool. And just the sheer scale of the place. It was, yeah, it was huge. It was very cool to see. Everyone was real friendly, proud of all the hard work that they were doing and what they're doing to build this fine country. So, yeah, it was awesome. Huge operation, but yeah, thanks a lot New Zealand Steel. Really appreciate it. Yeah, awesome. Cheers, guys.